So we've heard that there's a Geek Marcus on in Launceston today, so we thought we might go out and check it out. But first, we've got to go pick up a Doctor Who lamp that uh, someone has made for us. So let's go do that. Well, a bit of an adventure. We were just pulling up to pick up the lamp, and I heard this horrible scraping sound. And so I think there's an issue with my brakes. So we went straight to uh, Kmart Auto and we've uh, left the car there. So they probably won't have time to look at it until Monday because it was about closing time when we turned up. So, yep, we're just walking through town now. We're gonna go get Linda's car from the hospital so that we don't have to walk everywhere. Anyway, this is the lamp we got. It's got Weeping Angels and Tardises on it. It's really cool. It was handmade by some friends at church. I have to get their details because, um, yeah, she does some really good work. Yeah, so Linda's at work at the moment. So we're walking to the hospital and we're gonna get the keys and we're gonna grab her car and then we'll be able to go wherever we want. We won't have to carry all this stuff with us and we'll just have to pick her up from work when she's done. They're giving them all a bit of a facelift. Not that it really needed it, but oh well, whatever. Launceston Synagogue. And that's uh, St John's Anglican. And this is Princess Square. The legend goes that that fountain was intended for Launceston in England. And it got sent here by accident. And no one was going to pay to have it shipped in a sailing ship all the way back to Europe. So it stayed. Now I don't know if that story is true, but it's pretty cool either way. And this is the Chalmers Church. It's uh, privately owned now. I think someone lives there. At least they used to. Yeah, it looks like it's uh, an architect. So there you go. <laughs> Our unexpected car trouble has turned into an impromptu tour of Launceston's historic <laughs> locations. <laughs> You're welcome. This one looks like something out of ancient Greece or Rome. Milton Hall. Let's go check out the sign, see what it says. Greek Revival style, formerly St. John Square's independent chapel built 1841. Reverend John West, noted historian and editor of the Launceston Examiner, Sydney Morning Herald, brought an end of conflict transportation. The old chapel was used by Launceston High School earlier in the century. Pretty cool! There it is, the hospital. That's where Linda works. Gifts. I don't know what they are. Ice so, cream. Oh, it's ice cream! I'm thinking like something with bedpans or something. I you might need those. Oh, that's very sweet of you, darling. There Thank you. There you go. You're right. You're a lifesaver. Yeah. <laughs> Love you. Well, just like Frodo and Sam, we've completed our epic journey. And we now have the ring, I mean the keys. And we've already located Mum's car, so we're going to hop in it and continue on our way. Alright, here's your ice cream, Chloe. Um. <laughs> um. Um. <laughs> oh dear. Um. <laughs> Was that supposed to happen? <laughs> the ice cream's glued to the lid, and the lid's glued to the bottom of the other tub. <laughs> oh, no. There we go. Ooh. There you go. <laughs> Thank you. So I just realised when we did that big epic walk from Kmart to the hospital, I should have been using RunKeeper on my phone. That would have been epic. I would have got so many points on photography. What a missed opportunity. 
now to see if the geek market is still open or whether all our adventures have caused us to miss it. That was uh, fairly small, but pretty cool. They had some interesting things there. Had uh, one stand where they, um, a bakery where they do kind of geek themed cakes. Uh, so I followed them on Instagram. Uh, there's another guy there who was doing some mashup artwork. Uh, he actually used to be in a wheelchair, so he had some kind of, some pictures themed around that. That was pretty cool. Oh dear, I'm looking up and down the road where I parked. I'm like, where's my car? Where's my car? It's been stolen. I thought, oh, hang on, no, I'm looking for Linda's car. There it is. And while we're there, Harry picked out a Aquaman thing. It was only two bucks, and I let him get it. So tell us what all about it, mate. It's like a Beyblade, but it basically, as you can see, this is what it does, and you can collect the whole series. You got it figured out? Um, it has instructions, and there's a lot of rubbish. Cool. I don't know how to... It's this good thing they give you instructions. It is a good thing to use instructions. I don't care what other people say. I say real men read the instructions. I think we got him all figured out now. I don't know if I'm putting doing this right. If you know what these are, you can end. Uh, I reckon you're gonna pull the cord and it'll make him spin or something. Because these are make like him head spin. If you've ever got own one of these, you should. I should know. You should tell me if I'm doing anything wrong. Well, not exactly how we expected the day to go, <laughs> but we still did make it to the geek market after all that. So yeah, it was good. So yeah, car trouble. We just got to deal with it. Thanks for checking out this video. Uh, give us a subscribe and a like. Make, make us feel a bit happier after everything we've gone through today. <laughs> and bless God with this. Quality product. All right, see us later.